Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here. Take a look at the latest weather briefing. Two atmospheric rivers moving into Southern California, though they will be weakening. We do have an update though. Next week looks like there could be a better shot for precipitation uh, across much of California. Let's take a look. Here are the highlights. Weakening atmospheric rivers. We've already had one uh, this morning, Wednesday morning. Another one coming in Thursday night and Friday morning. That one will be a little more significant, especially in our northern areas, such as Orange County and the San Bernardino Mountains. High snow levels. Those will be coming down, though, Friday morning with the colder air as well. Precipitation is possible next week. Let's look at the past 72 hours precipitation. It was really significant again with another round of atmospheric rivers that have installed across northern California. They're green shaded there. Uh, those are all above an inch. The darker green and yellow, that's between three and five inches. And then you have those pink shaded where they picked up an additional around 10 inches, Southern Cascades, Northern Sierra Nevada, and the Trinity Alp region. Now, what made it down here? Here's a map of precipitation, some light amounts across the Inland Empire, the San Gabriel Mountains, Western San Bernardino Mountains, and parts of Orange County. We'll see light. It was much more significant the rain that fell in uh, LA basin as shown here, the darker green. Now, uh, ending yesterday, February 4th, here's the precipitation. So northern areas have really been seeing some soaking rain um, as shown here with light amounts that finally made it into Southern California. All right, uh, San Diego still off to the driest start to a watery year. That's October 1st and on. And you can see here now coastal San Diego, the temperatures have been there normal, but we continue to see warmer than normal conditions inland. Most areas in Southern California are less than 25% of where they should be this time of year. That equates to several inches of missing rain. So we really need every drop that we're getting coming down from the north as shown here. The weather pattern, well, we're finally getting a, a sag or a bend in the jet stream, um, and that's occurring now. That'll continue Thursday and Friday. On Friday, it'll move across Southern California. That will be the colder air and the lowering of the snow levels and the most significant precipitation Thursday night and Friday morning. Now, this is what we're looking at with Atmospheric River, courtesy of the Center for Western Weather Water Extremes. Uh, that new atmospheric river that's forming over the ocean will move into central northern California for more significant precipitation through Friday. Um, by late Thursday on the right-hand side, it'll be sagging down um, and into Friday morning across southern California. You can see that the atmospheric river will weaken, but it could hold together um, across our northern mountains and parts of Orange County where we expect the more significant precipitation of a half inch to an inch. Next week, another atmospheric river is expected to arrive. Uh, and it's uncertain if it'll take aim on just northern, central, southern, or all of California, but it could be a large extended atmospheric river moving into the west coast as shown here. It is showing up um, on our outlooks as well. You can see it's starting to show up uh, forming around six to eight days from now as shown on here and it looks like it's taking aim more towards california rather than the pacific northwest so that's a little bit of a change next seven days though uh, so we're dealing with an atmospheric river moving through thursday reaching southern california on friday that's the bulk of this precipitation that you're seeing on this map so more significant precipitation in sierra nevada where it's badly needed for increasing the snowpack and the precipitation, the runoff into the reservoirs. And look at that, uh, LA Basin and San Gabriel's into Orange County, where we're going to see significant precipitation Thursday night and Friday. Not heavy, uh, but much more than what we've seen lately. Um, you can see as you go through time here, uh, the clouds linger all the way through Friday, but the more significant precipitation we get on Friday morning. You can see bits and pieces of it uh, this afternoon and bits and pieces of it Thursday morning, but the bulk of it comes in, much deeper moisture comes in Thursday night and Friday morning as shown here. 
The wind forecast is for windy conditions across the deserts and desert slopes, as shown here. Quite windy um, in those areas, so be prepared for winds if driving up and over the mountain passes where you could see gusts 40, 50 plus miles per hour. Most areas along the coast and valleys, not too windy though. The chance for precipitation, I mentioned some rain coming in Thursday morning. Uh, you can see here, uh, anywhere from 30 to 60% with the best chances as you go north. Now, a more significant system comes in Friday morning uh, along with that colder air. So we do expect more wetting rain um, and widespread rain for our northern areas in those uh, darker colors. The temperatures on Friday, well, they'll rebound after the cold front in the mountains in the 40s, but we are expecting snow levels to come down to around 6,000 feet Friday morning with a little shot of cooler air coming down. Uh, elsewhere, 60s, pretty mild on the coast and 70s in the deserts. The total precipitation, this is a nice zoomed up view. You can see a lot of places along the San Gabriels and the Cajon Pass up around an inch, maybe locally an inch and a half. Then as you go south, it drops off pretty quick. Santa Ana Mountains, three quarters of an inch. Orange County, quarter to half inch. Down in San Diego, Metro, less than a tenth. And then Inland Empire, a pretty big range of a tenth uh, to a half inch when you, when you butt up with the Cajon Pass and the foothills. Uh, very little making it into the deserts, uh, if any. The outlook, which has changed uh, for next week, is looking for a good probability of above average, not just rain, but above average precipitation, uh, rain and snow over uh, most of California, as shown here in the green shaded. Now, when we go deeper into February, uh, the jet stream looks like it'll lift a further north into the Pacific Northwest. So confidence is high for not just wet, but wetter than average conditions in the Pacific Northwest and cooler than average in that area as well. So it looks like our best shot um, is the middle to latter part of next week. So between February 12th and 15th. When we look further out, uh, there's not much signal and we're still dealing with some mixed signals across California as shown here. Uh, but nonetheless, um, things appear to be getting wetter across the region next week. So we're, we're trending towards wet next week. And then after that, it looks like it stays wet in the Pacific Northwest for mid to late February. Some resources, including the outlooks I showed you that are updated daily. Uh, you can monitor precipitation uh, at waternoaa.gov or you can monitor it at weather.gov. Um, and if you want a detailed weather forecast, you can use the point and click at the links shown here. We also post information on Facebook and on X. All right, everyone. Take care.